So you all are blessed. Of course, your drummer, Fuji, y'all know. I don't have to go into all that. Y'all are blessed. You already know it. Most importantly, you are blessed to be you. Most importantly, you are blessed to be you. Thought of something this morning on my, my meditation. I remember the first thing that ever came through when I was opening up. This is after the kundalini uh, energy popping out and doing all that stuff. First thing that came out when my mouth moved, uh, what I call involuntarily. I was staring in the mirror doing this meditation late at night. All of a sudden, my mouth moves. First thing that came out, I like you. It weirded me out. <laughs> I'm like, what? What in the, What kind of weird thing is that? <laughs> you know? It's like, what is that? You know? This morning I got it. I'll be honest. It took me till this morning to get it, and I'm glad I get to share it with you, cause it was like my higher self telling me how it feels about me. It's like. The truth of who you are really, really likes who you are and how you're showing up right now. It didn't matter what happened between then and now. It was just trying to remind me, I already like you, man. You ain't got to change Jack. <laughs> you don't need no waking anymore. I like you now just the way you are. You, ain't no more awakening you got to do to be liked. <laughs> There's no more change you got to do to like yourself anymore. Question is, how many of us like ourselves this morning? <laughs> I hope all of you do. If you don't, that's okay. That's okay. What it takes to getting to the place that we like ourselves is honestly recognizing who we really are. Most of us think we're the story, right? Most of us think that we're our past. We're the things we did, the things we've done, right? I've been through it. I'm telling you, man, I did some things. <laughs> and when I got that, I like you, the reason I wasn't resonating with it is because I was holding on to the story, right? Holding on to this story of all these things, all these things I'm holding against myself. And then all these things I'm not yet, <laughs> you know, all these things I'm aspiring to. Hold on tightly to this illusion of who I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I'm just not there yet, but I'm supposed to be this. No. That's the blocks. The blocks we put in front of our place to keep us from liking ourselves and loving ourselves as who we truly are, right? It's, it's wild, man. It's like, wow. We hold on to these identifications, these illusions of who we think we're supposed to be. Not, not how I'm showing up now, but what I want to be, what I aspire to be, right? These visions of what I thought I should have been, <laughs> what I could have been, should have, could have, would have been. <laughs> we all these visions, but I'm not that, right? And we hold it against ourselves and we block that truth of, of our higher self that's already like, okay, but I like you. <laughs> you can do that if you want to. You can play like that, but I'm just saying I like you. Right? So then it becomes the question of how do I get to my authentic self, the real me, not this unpresent looking at the future or unpresent looking at the past or even in the present judging <laughs> and blocking even now how I'm showing up you know judging everything about myself and what myself is doing I wanted to start off with an affirmation because in my meditation it came and I was feeling so good I didn't feel I needed to do it now it's coming up again <laughs> so I'm gonna do that the affirmation is, I give thanks to myself for all we are doing. I give thanks to myself for all we are saying. I give thanks to myself for all we are being. I give thanks to myself for all we are choosing. For I am 
that which is choosing all things. I am that which is creating all things. I am that which is extending itself as different points of consciousness. But I am all consciousness. I am the essence that is holy, sacred, and unchanging. And in this moment, as the love and the light that is limitless, I am remembering and awakening myself, enjoying myself, claiming once again my oneness, perfection, and power. To truly know that all is well and always is, to truly feel that all is well and always is. To truly experience all is well and always is. All we got to do is let go. All we got to do is let go of these illusions, attachments, conditioned ways of thinking and skewed perspectives that tell us I'm not enough yet. As we align with the source of who we are, as we align through our practices of affirmation, affirmative prayer, meditation, yoga, whatever practice we use in the here and now, mindfulness, presence, centering, as we align, we allow that higher level of consciousness to remind us with the source energy, to remind us with the information, to remind us with the corrections to our misperceptions, <laughs> with the reminders to assist in removing these blocks, to remind us that it's okay, we can let go whenever we're ready, and then truly like ourselves. Now some of us already like ourselves. Some of us like ourselves beyond <laughs> what feels good. And that's the other end of the spectrum, right? Some of us like ourselves beyond what feels good because we've decided to sanctify ourselves. Sanctification, separation, to set apart. We've decided to set ourselves apart and make ourselves special. <laughs> so I like myself so much, you can't really get near me. I'm special. <laughs> I'm beyond what you are. I'm above average, and I really like myself. And that's okay, you know. We just decided to go beyond the recognition of who we truly are and fall in love with this illusion of who we think we are and decide that it is somehow better than everything else we see. And we try to push it over here and pet it, <laughs> right? Water it, watch it grow. <laughs> Walk around with it and look down on all the other little illusions. This illusion's special. <laughs> you can't get like this illusion. It's going to take you a while if you want to be like this illusion, right? <laughs> but like, you know, I really like this illusion. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. The truth is, it's all okay. And I, I've said so many times and referenced D'Angelo, how does it feel? How does it feel? when we begin to separate ourselves, sanctify ourselves out and look at all of this out in the world and judge it and see all this that is not well, that is not good, that is not divine, that is not special. <laughs> in a world of imperfection and chaos and just terror, and fear and all of this stuff. We really got to protect it then. We shelter our little specialness. 
Woo! And we find ways to prop ourselves up and build it up so we can overcome and conquer anything that threatens our specialness. How dare you? You want to cut me off? I'm special. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't you know I'm on the way to work? My lane? How dare you? I'm special. We convince everybody if we have to. Don't let nobody take over our little illusion. <laughs> Protect it. And the fear and the, you know, contracting and the feeling of cut-offness. And all of that just grows and amplifies through that specialness we hold on to. So that's not the kind of like you we're dealing with today. We're talking about a like you that is the authentic us, not the illusion, not the conditioning that we've finally learned. Oh, if I act like this through our observations, if I, if I greet the person this way, if I speak like this, then people will like me. I don't know if I like myself yet, but if I try this, maybe this will work, <laughs> you know? That's not the authentic self. That's the role. That's okay. N none of this is judgment, of course. We know this. This is just reminders. We're all remembering together. None of this is judgment. It's okay whatever we choose, out of fear, out of resistance, out of suffering, out of trying our best just to figure it out. It's all good. It's all perfect, and it works perfectly together. But the reminder is simply wherever you are, whether it's the liking yourself to the extreme where you've set yourself apart and remembering what that feels like, or whether it's the idea of self that's not enough and way down here and looking at all these others as wow they have something I don't have I want to be like that or mm, I'm not enough yet but I'll get there one day I'm going to affirm that <laughs> sometimes we affirm that we're just not enough <laughs> it's on accident it's subconscious but you know we've been affirming it for so long we forgot so it doesn't matter it's okay how does it feel Okay. The authentic self found through that alignment, found through our practices, reminds us all of these roles, all of these illusions, points of consciousness, creating these personalities, creating the form, showing up, all of it is in perfection. It is a beautiful, masterful artwork, no matter how it shows up. And at the heart, we are the sacred essence, the foundation, the unchanging holiness, creating it all. So when we look out into the creation, it's not that we are seeing something that is not us. It is that we are seeing the fruits of our creation, the fruits of our power. We are seeing the created illusion that we have masterfully and wonderfully created as the I am. Our essence is that mysterious, wonderful power that has created it all. That is who you are. And our roles in unfolding in whatever we choose, this illusion of not enough or this illusion of I am somehow separate, all of it is working together to let us see how does this Amazing dimension and creation we've created feel this mysterious, wild separation, this mysterious, incredible layered consciousness. How does it feel to navigate? And we get to choose how does it feel to wonder and feel confused and then find certainty in the uncertainty and then navigate to new levels of consciousness. How does it feel? And as we find these practices that work for us, we begin to recognize 
At one point, this felt good, but not anymore. This identity of not enough spurred me on to find practices to add to myself. And then those practices helped me see, oh, I didn't need to add to myself. Wow, I just needed to let this idea of not enough go. Oh, my goodness. Mind blown. And then we keep finding practices and expanding and seeing, oh, nothing really ever needed to change. What? You mean to tell me evil doesn't exist? <laughs> you mean to tell me it's all just a dream? What? You mean to tell me there is only God, the good, oneness, and nothing else? For real? <laughs> so, really? <laughs> You mean to tell me it's only one of us here, <laughs> right? Say like, what? Okay, but why? Why am I still choosing to identify with this or this? Why? Why am I still choosing that? Especially when it stops feeling good. <laughs> why am I still choosing that? There is perfection even in this. This week, I was given the wonderful guidance, listening to the higher self, to remember, it's okay if I continue to choose the suffering. It's okay if I continue not to level up. Even the levels of consciousness the amazing design, just like our soul's blueprints, just like these amazing biological constructs, are illusions. How? Wait, how so? Because there is only oneness, but, you know, to know that is different than to believe and just affirm it. We want to know it, to be set free. So, to level up, that's what we do. We go through these levels. The level of consciousness of the infant, the level of consciousness of, you know, the hero's journey. We begin to expand. We find practices that work, and they serve us until they don't. Then we continue to level up. So we're going to go through a specific practice real quick. We only got 10 minutes left, but I, wanna, I want you to experience the simplicity of this practice. And you have, many of you have your own practices. So this isn't one of those talks of, hey, you know what? You need a practice, and I'm going to give you the only practice that will ever remind you of who you are. <laughs> Obviously, life's got that covered. <laughs> but it's fun to remember together. It's fun to come together and to use our collective consciousness to intend and to resonate and amplify what we are creating already. That's what community is all about. We're going to use this simple little practice for you to experience in a short window of time what I like to call alignment. Many of us know that term, but alignment with source can happen at any moment. I use the same practice. I can't even tell you how many times today throughout the day, and I try to remember to always use it from moment to moment to be in alignment with source, the authentic me. Not this identity or this identity, but that which sees it all in perfection, that this is okay and that's okay. Before we get to that, earlier this week, had an opportunity to download this wonderful new course. I've downloaded a lot of courses, books, different songs, all these different wonderful things. And as I was downloading, I had all this energy arising. Because as these new frequencies and information come in, it's like shaking something up and making, making room. So you got to get the clutter out. It's time to spring clean. In order to integrate, we got to turn the lights on, see what's here that's no longer working, move it out, release it, make it conscious and do whatever it needs to do and let go, and then integrate these new frequencies, right? So I'm downloading, I'm feeling the resistance. Whenever you move it into your greatness and expanding, there's usually resistance. Resistance will come up in the form of seeing the blocks, seeing, oh, seeing the triggers. Life is that beautiful, like, Zen master, you know, <laughs> kind of shows you where your, where your weaknesses are. <laughs> but it's, it's, in a, it's in a very loving way, <laughs> you know. 
It's like some Zen masters like to give you the tough love. That, oh, that's what you want? Okay. <laughs> Real quick, like you never saw it coming. That's how I felt this week. <laughs> it's like, thank you, master. Can I have another? Telling myself. So, Two, hey? So those triggers, as they arose, were simply reminders. Okay, there is a misperception in the level of meaning that as this is coming up, I'm not actually feeling the bliss of these frequencies. Something's blocking it. So this practice is what I use to align, expand my awareness, bring in those high levels of consciousness and remind me what's real. And through that, I was able to see, am I holding on to this or this? And that's okay. It's perfect. Oh yeah, it's coming from fear, but, and that's okay. Or I can add on some judgment on top of that, and that's okay. <laughs> But at least I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and if I'm not ready to let go, that's okay. But it helped me remember, okay, when you're ready, all you got to do, the ease comes through practice. Many of us will say, I am ease and affirm the ease and the frequencies come in and shake up all this stuff that don't feel like ease. And we're like, oh my goodness, what is that? And we let go. We decide instead. I'm going to stay in this place, and that's okay. So let's do the practice. If it's okay, I'd like to forego the uh, other song. I just want to do this practice instead. So just to take a breath. We're just going to lie by simply verbally saying, and stand up, please. For those who can, for those who cannot, stay seated. It's just an invitation. For those who prefer to sit, stay seated. As you stand, you're breathing and relaxing. You're simply going to say, verbally say the word align. We're going to say that together about four times, and then we're going to say it mentally. Continue to repeat it. So on three, we'll say it together. One, two, three. Align, align. Align, align, now mentally, align, repeat in your mind, align, align. And as you repeat, align, I'd like you to engage your will. You're mentally repeating it. Engage your will and sense what's occurring within. Notice the energy, subtle shifts. Don't try to change anything. Just engage the will to align as you relax and breathe. Repeating align, breathing and relaxing. Now together on three, we will say the word allow. And as you say these words, engage your will. Your inner being knows exactly what these words are about. You don't have to think about meaning. You're simply experiencing them as an alignment code, as an affirmation or a mantra. As we repeat allow on three. One, two, three. Allow, allow. Allow, allow. Now mentally repeat the word allow and feel and experience engaging your will. Relaxing and breathing. And now for those of us standing, let's be seated. 
There's one more we'll do seated together. For this last one, we will take a breath. And we'll simply repeat aloud four times the words, let go on three. One, two, three. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Mentally repeat, let go. Feeling the source energy removing blocks as we let go. Take a breath. Now, as we mentally put them together, align, allow, let go. Align, allow, let go. Simply repeating, align, allow, let go. Be aware of the energies shifting, what we're creating through our alignment. For those of us who found a, the sense of expanded awareness and presence, intuitively release this affirmative code, however you wish. It could be align, 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 allow, 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 let go, let go, let go. Use it however you wish in your mind and experiment for a moment. From this place, we are able to ask any question through alignment and listen for the answer. From this place, from this space, we are able to bring through whatever it is we seek. Most importantly, from this place, we are able to claim our abundance because it reminds us that we are already perfect, always have been, always will be because we are the oneness. The rest is our creation. The rest is what we have developed as the personality, the name, and the like. However, it works in perfection as well to give us the experiences and show us exactly how it feels to believe such. And when we are ready and it no longer serves us, we may level up and level up through our alignment so that we might claim our birthright of unfolding in this wonderful design showing up to bless, showing up to attach, showing up to resist, showing up to heal, showing up to do it all, for we are it all. We begin to accept it all, no longer threatened by the creation, <laughs> but knowing who we truly are and being in the awe of our own genius, myself as the great designer of all that is, for this is our abundance. And we give thanks for the power to choose whatever it is we wish to feel now, amplifying that desire and fully filling it for a fulfillment. No longer being distracted by the external illusions and misperceptions and conditioned thinking, but knowing that in this moment, We have received our blessing. <laughs> In this moment, we are opening our eyes to realize we are the blessing. And so it is. <laughs>